never be afraid to entrust the unknown future to the all-knowing God. Has God ever asked you to do something that seemed unreasonable? Something that took you into the territory of the unknown? What if He asked you to refuse a long-awaited promotion or resist a longed-for relationship? What if He called you to a remote part of the world or asked you to release your children to serve Him in some faraway place? The unknown is full of haunting what-ifs, and yet God often calls us to chart unknown territory as we follow Him. Obeying His commands to forgive, to give away our treasures, or to give up things that provide security and pleasure often leave us in the scary territory of unknown outcomes. Imagine how Abraham felt when God asked him to move his whole family without telling him where they were going. God asked Abraham to persevere, to stay in an unknown land even when the lure of past comforts may have threatened to seduce him and his family back to their comfort zone in Ur. Entering a new year is like entering uncharted territory. The fear of the unknown could cripple our capacity to follow God's leading through the days ahead. And yet, like Abraham, when we cling to the one who knows all things, we're in good hands, regardless of where he leads. Hebrews chapter 11 verses 8 through 12 is the faith of our fathers chapter in the New Testament and describes how many obeyed God even though they didn't know their future. I'll read from Hebrews chapter 11 verses 8 through 12. By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance and he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. By faith Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man, and him as good as dead, were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. Heavenly Father, help us to take that step of faith in this new year, to trust you, to listen and obey your instructions. Thank you, Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And as you think about today's meditation, remember, never be afraid to entrust the unknown future to the all-knowing God. My name is Les Lamborn.